so you've probably seen the thumbnail and you know that I'm gonna just make a little decorative wall uh, that you can basically stick to any wall you like just to make it look a bit nicer. Anyway, I've done up these sophisticated drawings on Sketchdown and that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna use up as much of this offcuts, leftovers to help clean the shed out a little bit more and hopefully come up with something pretty cool, but also very simple. Glue, screws, nails. That's it. So for the outside edge framing, I've got this leftover Merbu off an old long pallet, which you've seen me use many times. They need a fair bit of cleaning up, so I'll get that done. On the jointer, thicknesser, table saw, make some reasonable wood out of it and then I'll get cracking on the rest. So I'll just quickly show you how that cleaned up. Now, it never gets old, but sometimes you just need a little bit of me time with the timber. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, okay, this is the big piece of scrap plywood I've got. It's covered in glue. I need to get it to the right size. So I need to go at it with the hand circular saw. Uh, but what I need to do first is, you know, you know what I need to do. It's highly likely that it's not perfect, so I'll just make it perfect. Well, I'll be, it's square. I'll flip it over so I don't have to write all the glue with the circular saw. I just had a pen, didn't I? Lucky I'm wearing an apron. Fair thing. Okay, this wall has to have a little shelf through the middle. Now it has to hold a fair bit of weight in shampoo. Uh, so I had no scraps. I had to go and actually buy a piece of this timber. So it's a project panel. Uh, it hurt to buy timber, but you know, sometimes you've just got to not be a tight ass and um, just get what you need. I'm very simply, I'm just going to pocket hole this together, make a nice box, and then I'll I'll just trim it out with the matching stuff so it all looks pretty groovy. And that's basically it. Uh, then gotta glue it all down, nail it down, staple gun it down. trying not to destroy my new shirt and apron. Probably gone a bit nuts on the pocket holes, but I've never built a shampoo holster, so better safe than sorry, I reckon. Oh, I'm gonna put some champers on. Definitely needs a champer, just to make it a little bit more woodworky. Okay, um, 
So just a little bit of glue to hold these panels on. A bit of weight on them, that'll do the trick there. The only thing that needs to be checked square is the shelf. So once I get to that, I'll just make sure that's all good. So this was a couple hour project I really have just knocked it together. I just need to get something up on this wall that looks cool and has a shelf. So I'm just going to throw a bit of stain and varnish over the lot of it just to time with the rest of the shop. find the stable gun and we're done okay very simple installation just find the wall stud screws and you're done pretty cool if you just want to flash up something groovy in a rental property or a business or, or your own home whatever uh, easy okay so stable gun bit of greenery and uh, Bob's your uncle or your auntie talking to you uncle knackers Missed. <laughs> I don't like noise. Should have the earmuffs on. And it's not even that loud. I just wanted to take 30 seconds to say thank you to the people who have joined up to my memberships on YouTube. So we've got James at Fix It Fingers, Mario the Woodfather, also got Brian at BT Outdoors and also a lady called Julia Morse. Um, now what I just discovered is I don't ever get notified if people actually join and I rarely actually get onto a computer and look at all the nerdy stuff uh, deep down. So I actually just discovered a couple of those people had joined a while back and I had no idea. So I do sincerely apologize for that, but I do really appreciate that people have actually joined up. It's, it's pretty cool, uh, that helps me do all sorts of things, postage and all that sort of good stuff when I raise money or do whatever I do, as you know, um, it all chips in, it all helps. So thank you very much. Uh, if you want to join up as well, that'd be greatly appreciated. There is zero pressure, but it is really cool. Thanks very much. Okay, also just quickly, so Brian uh, from Outdoors with BT, he actually joined at the Czech Square, squared level. I put a lot of thought into this. Anyway, uh, Brian gets a shout out. So this is his channel here, but I am gonna put another one in another video because I'll pretty much give him shout outs for free anyway. Um, so I'm just gonna make sure Brian gets a good plug and hopefully all jump on board his channel and get behind him. Uh, really good guy. He was in the Rubbishwood 21 Challenge, made a really awesome lamp. Okay, thanks mate. I'll clean the glue off on the back because I want it to sit flat against the wall. Because I want it to sit flat against, blah, blah. I'll quickly clean all the glue off off the back just so it sits flush against the wall.